Hello guys, today I am going to explain you what are the gunshot questions in data mining. That means I can say it like a, what are the blind questions or the directly questions which may be asked by the uh, external exam question papers. So let us see, actually this is the syllabus of our J2H curriculum. So a few course prerequisite they have given the objectives and what are the uh, outcomes of learning this particular subject also they have given in this syllabus. So let us see this um, uh, from all the five units uh, what are the questions that can be asked directly means uh, see if you see, see this particular unit one uh, we are having the important questions gunshot questions like data mining functionalities is one of the important uh, and the straight away question which they may be asked and the other one is uh, this is the data pre-processing this is the one of the important question in the unit one and as well as the uh, data mining task primitives also one of the important question and uh, Classification of the data mining systems. Classification of the data mining systems. These are all the gunshot questions which may be asked in the unit 1. So try to prepare these questions compulsory from the unit 1. And then if you come to the unit 2, only 3 major important, 3 to 4 major important questions there may be chance of asking here. So that is, a, one is a, we are having the mining frequent patterns are there. So, in this mining frequent patterns, uh, we are having a uh, first question is a uh, priori algorithm is the first one and then we are having the FP growth algorithm is there. Definitely, we may get the problems from the priori algorithm and the FP growth and the eclat algorithm also and then we are having the one more important question is a uh, correlation analysis. This is also one of the straight away question which they may be asked and uh, sometimes they may, uh, they may ask the graph pattern mining and the SPM also. So, three to four questions are there that is one is a priori fp growth eclat and correlation analysis and graph mining and the pattern mining so this uh, this is doubt in few question papers they may ask or sometimes uh, they may uh, they may or uh, they may not ask why because uh, if a priori and uh, fp growth uh, or correlation analysis these three are blind questions compulsory they will ask these questions so they may ask the theoretical algorithm or else they may ask the by giving some um, problematic uh, things they may try to ask you that how to find the frequent item sets in the uh, given data set so like that uh, there may be a chance of asking the questions and if you come to the unit 3 the topics are very less uh, so there may be a chance of asking the decision tree algorithm so straight away question is uh, they will ask you about the decision tree algorithm and uh, next uh, straight away question is they may ask you about the bayesian classifier or uh, training bayesian belief networks they may ask and here we are having one more question is there that is the lazy learners they may ask you the KNL, K nearest neighboring algorithm. So these are the straight away questions which they may ask from the unit 3 and from the unit 4 if you observe this particular clustering definitely they may ask you uh, any type of clustering technique like a hierarchical clustering or agglomerate clustering approaches or divisive clustering approaches or uh, Sometimes they may ask you that uh, what is the hierarchical clustering explain about some uh, uh, different approaches we are having or uh, in the density based we are having the db scan algorithm is there. Directly they may ask you to explain about the density based methods or else they may ask you to write about the db scan algorithm directly. And one of the important question in the unit 4 is the outlier analysis. This is the very repeated questions which was asked in all the previous question papers. And from the unit 5 what are the questions that are direct questions means they may ask you about the uh, i have seen many times repeated question like text mining is there and uh, multimedia mining and i have seen the text mining worldwide web mining that means web mining uh, in the web mining also they may ask you about the web structure mining web content mining or web usage mining or sometimes they may ask you about the spatial data mining or sometimes they may ask you about the time series data so like that and this uh, sequential pattern mining if you prepare here means uh, they may ask here in the unit 2 and as well as in the unit 5. So that's why you don't <coughs> forget to read this question that is the SPM question. Uh, if you are going to prepare means if they are asking in the unit 2 or unit 5 definitely you can attempt this question. So these are the direct and gunshot questions which they may ask you in all the units. 
so try to write in an elaborative manner so we should know how to present in the paper also first so try to draw the margins neatly and uh, try to figure it out what are the subheadings in each and every question what are the figures and diagrams and labels that which we are having so try to present all these diagrams and the uh, headings and uh, one of the important thing is uh, subheadings also we need to present in a clear manner and try to write it in an elaborative manner so then only in the data mining you will pass this particular subject otherwise uh, this is very difficult to pass so few people what they will do one example is suppose if they are asking uh, a priori algorithm so what they will write directly they will uh, they will write only the a priori algorithm and they will close that question they will close that answer but the thing is, it is not the case. We should not write like that. So, we should write what is that a priori algorithm. What are the characteristics? What are the basic steps we are having? What is the example of a priori algorithm? And then you have to write down that algorithm. And then you have to write down what are the drawbacks of the a priori algorithm. And what are the applications of the a priori algorithm. So, you should write like this in an elaborative manner. Then only you will get the very good pass percentage in the data mining. So, unless, unless and until you are not writing like that for each and every question, this is very difficult to pass in this uh, data mining subject. So, I hope you understand this video and you like this video. Uh, so, those who are watching for the first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And if you want uh, uh, any information about any other subjects means, uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section. So, thank you for watching this video guys. Thank you.